All right, so here's one that's timely, and I definitely am opinionated on this. Um, killers or Number of the Beast? That's number. Come on. No way. No what way. What the fuck do you mean, no way? No way. What the fuck do you mean, no way? No, no, no. I gotta go Killers. I, I gotta Thank go you, Killers. Ray. Are Ray Thank and I you, ever man. going to agree? Is there ever going to be the two of us? Versus <laughs> are we? Are we? You just waited no, for the answers, didn't you? No, it has to be Killers. It doesn't have to be Killers. Oh, my God. I, that, that angst, that rawness, that I want to get up in your face. I mean, that whole thing was what put Maiden on the map. What drew me to Maiden to begin with? You know what the number of the beast has? Better singing. Better Whoa. song. Oh, what the fuck do you mean? I disagree. Killers. Killers. Paul Deanna, Killers Maiden. has the better vocal performance. No, it's yes. not. No, it does not. Murders oh in the Rue Morgue. Are you telling me that that's not a? Those aren't good vocals on there. Th th those are very much above average. But Bruce is like goat. Oh no, no, no! Yes, yes, yes. No, I yeah. gotta disagree. Wait. So, if you want to start, like, name your top three songs from Killers. Like, let's do this this way. Give me your top. Three. top yeah. Okay. Top three for me. Uh, it's it's Killers. It's Ides of March, and then it's Murders in the Room or Ides of March, just like the do 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 do. Dude, it's so good. It, it, the instrumental I, at the opening. Yeah, you, you put Wrath Child in there. I'll count those two as one song. There. Okay. But, well, that was going to be mine. Yeah. Absolutely, because that's actually the record that almost got me into was probably the gateway to getting into metal. Or yeah, harder, there, fit, there. right? I mean, I saw that on MTV, and I was like, "What the fuck is this?" Mm -hmm. Yeah, I hear that. Uh, except, obviously, I was discovering this way later. Uh, Killers, I got considerably after Number of the Beast. Um, I guess I just like the direction they took with Bruce. If you're into like punk adjacent, it's not like the Ramones, but it has the same no, street no. attitude. Uh, and I also yeah. like the. The image, right? Because even though I'm an '80s fan and I can do I love the whole spandex thing, I think their leather ends, like Judas Priesty kind of stuff, was mm. pretty cool. Sure. Okay. okay. Now, so dark. Dark makes a good point. Uh, <laughs> mm. <laughs> to switch to to number of the beast. <laughs> Traitor. What? No. 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 I am now. I am now a convert. Uh, see the more the no the more I think about it. Yes, Number of the Beast is the better album. What is their best album? Somewhere in time. Uh, <laughs> that is my opinion. Did we talk about this last week? We talked about something similar last week. Because how we're are you saying that? How is Peace of Mind not the best record? Well, gonna... oh, see, that's that's respectable. Peace of oh, ooh, Peace of Mind is. Mm. Uh, See, picking picking a uh, one Iron Maiden album over another is like picking hard. your favorite child. It's hard to do. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, for what for what it's worth, but there is a correct thing. answer, and it is uh, it mm. peace of mind. Here is Come my thing. I don't know. The I don't know. Land she, is legendary. It is. It, it, that song is legendary. That that's amazing. My thing with number, by the way, just to keep on track, is how consistent the album is which is you know of the original eight tracks i don't count total eclipse because that's just the you know bonus thing uh gangland is the only really weak one and and it's, some, yes. yeah like invaders is also ad but like the rest of it like from children of the damned and then of course how would be thy name at the end that 22 like, Avenue, all that of stuff, course yeah. yeah the prisoner mm -hmm. number of the beast run to the hills uh am i forgetting one um but and gangland not even that bad of a song either and it's not like it's probably the only one I like. My my rhetoric for this is when I'm walking home from work, I'm like actively listening. Am I going to pick this song to listen to? It's different than if it comes on in the background when you're like playing video games. I think I've done everything on Number of the Beast except for Gangland. Fair. All right. I'm totally, I'm totally forgetting a song. Fair. 